Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Courtney Lene. In today's video, we will be talking about how I overcame all of my biggest weight loss challenges. This video is for the people who was on a weight loss journey, who hit a plateau, or for the people who are starting a weight loss journey and literally don't even know what to do and may have some challenges that are constantly arising and don't even know how to like solve them. No worries, cause I got you in this video. So if that sounds like something you're interested in watching, stay tuned. Let's get straight to the point, okay? There are a lot of challenges when it comes to a weight loss journey. I don't know why some people are selling the dream that, hey, weight loss is simple and all you have to do is do these five things and you're guaranteed to lose weight. For some people, that may work, okay? And in the beginning, that did work for me, a little bit. But then I hit a point to where things were just not as easy. So I'm gonna take you through a little history, a little down the rabbit hole, just for a little bit. Stick with me, stick with me, stick with me, okay? Boom. So I started my weight loss journey. Actually, I've been on multiple weight loss journeys, but specifically, we're gonna talk about this recent weight loss journey, okay? So the pandemic hit. When the pandemic hit, I was a smooth one. I'm gonna say 150. Ooh. I was 150 yeah but I was one I was a key I was keto 150 and that was definitely not good looking I looked scary I looked sunken in it looks like it looked like my soul was gone I ain't gonna lie to you like dark eye like it just looked sunken in like it was just not giving what it was supposed to give right so first and foremost I do not recommend keto do not do keto, please. Y'all don't do keto. It's really not good on your cholesterol, okay? It's not good on your arteries. That's a lot of like clogged fat and meat just all in there. And then on keto, I wasn't even using a bathroom a lot because you couldn't eat fruits and vegetables. And that's where I was getting most of my fiber from. And fiber, you already know, helps you use the bathroom. Right, exactly, okay. The pandemic hit, I was with it. But then I was like, no lie, no funny. Uh, I tweaked out. I ain't gonna lie. I tweaked out. I tweaked out. Because I was like, the pandemic hit. Like, we don't know what's about to happen. Like, YOLO, basically. So I was like, why Why would I starve, deprive myself from the foods I want to eat, and the world is ending? Who gonna do that? Not me. So y'all know what I did? I started eating. And I started eating real good. And then on top of that, I got into a relationship. And it was just... <laughs> it was it was over. It was the... Mm, 150 was gone, baby. And I promise you it was gone in about five months, okay? So, in five months, I was eating pizza. Girl, I was living my life, okay? I have no regrets, okay? No regrets. Eating pizza cupcakes brownies cookies oh olive garden wing stop macaroni and cheese dressing ah, i was eating good i was eating real good right then on top of that all the gyms was shut down they was closed so all you could do is eat sleep and you know uh, so that's what i was doing so yeah i gained though i gained i gained the weight i gained the weight and it's okay so in about five months five to six months i went to like i'm gonna say 200 pounds i gained 50 pounds okay yeah and for some like you know the people that see me every day they noticed it a little bit but they didn't know how how drastic it was and for the people who wasn't seeing me every day they was like dang Big Mama show put on some pounds, and I was like, "Oh yeah, I would, I did, I did." And um, yeah, I just felt like a prisoner in my body. I just felt trapped, right? And so I just felt like I need to do something. I I need to figure out how to how to lose this weight. And when I tell you, I went through every single thing, but except keto. I know I did not want to do keto. I did not want to do keto. Um, but at that moment. I don't know what happened, but my hormone imbalances were so, like, my hormones were so imbalanced, like, 
it did not matter what I did. I was doing hit. Um, I drastically cut my calories. I was doing everything and nothing was working. When I tell y'all nothing was working, it was like the, the, the weight just stuck to me. It was not going away, right? So I was doing everything that I thought I was supposed to be doing and it wasn't working. And so fast forward to February, 2022, I was like, you know what? I need to figure out what is happening because I'm not liking what I'm seeing in the mirror and this is not it. So I ended up going to the doctors and getting like everything, everything that I possibly could get checked. I got it checked. I got my A1C checked, my glucose, my diabetes. Like I got everything checked and the doctors was like, oh, okay. This is why you're not losing the weight. We see the chemical and like just the hormones was so imbalanced. It was just... It was just not giving, right? And so, once I did that, I knew I had a plan. I had a plan. I knew exactly what to do. So, I hit the ground running. And when I started, I lost. Oh, my bad. So, when I finally got all the tests done and I hit the ground rolling, my start weight was 215. And, like, sometimes it will teeter from 215 to 220. Like, it would just go back and forth. So, I started doing all the necessary steps that I talk about in all my other YouTube videos. If you have not looked at any of my other YouTube videos, pause right here and go look at them and then come right back here. Thank you. And also, comment below how you even found this video how did you find me like how did you how did you get to this video okay how did you get to this channel okay I was doing everything that i state in all my other weight loss videos um so like you know the eating right um being in a calorie deficit like all those good things and so in the first like two months i lost 10 pounds okay things were things were going great okay things were going great i was super excited um lost another five pounds and so now i'm 15 pounds down and for some reason like the weight the weight kind of just the weight kind of just stopped and i was just like um what's going on and that's where weight loss challenge number one comes in i found myself being in a weight loss plat so a plateau is when you're doing every single thing under the sun that you possibly think and can you know can can comprehend and do what you and do what you think you're supposed to be doing and nothing is working like you're just the way is just sedentary like nothing's happening no more fats leaving nothing's happening and so i had to really like dive deep and figure out what was going on so like multiple like a lot of times i would talk to my boyfriend i'm like i don't know what's going on like i'm doing everything i'm doing like and i'm doing everything that made me lose the weight in the first place but now it's just stuck and he was like okay well you walk ten thousand steps how about trying to walk fifteen thousand steps and i was like hmm you may be on to something there sir so i said okay like i'm gonna start walking fifteen thousand steps Baby, when I start walking 50,000 steps, the weight start coming off. When I tell y'all, like, it's really T. The body is really T. Body is really T. Okay? So I just realized I had to, like, up it a little bit okay so i still was in my same calorie deficit i made sure to never go below the amount of calories that my body just needed just to survive i made sure to never go below that number but still be able to create a calorie deficit right so i was still eating my i was still eating the meals i was supposed to be eating okay like doing what i was gotta do but i just started doing more I just started doing more physical activities. So I was walking my 15,000 steps. Sometimes I would jog a little bit. Um, instead of doing two days a week of Pilates, I upped it to three days a week of Pilates. I started playing basketball with my boyfriend. Um, I started going on more rigorous hikes. Um, 
yeah i was just i just made sure to heighten up that level i was not doing no crazy crossfit i wasn't doing no hit i wasn't doing sprinting i wasn't doing anything that was going to make my body feel like it's under stress okay so i just made sure to continue to keep my physical activity in list which is low intensity steady state cardio my body loves that my body thrives off of that and that's what really helped me and that's also another important thing you have to figure out in this weight loss journey what works for you you can't take everything that you see offline based on what one person is doing and tailor it towards you because you're different you don't know what that person has going on inside of their bodies you might not even know what you have going on inside of your body so you guys are just two completely different people different makeups different genetics different everything you know which brings me to my weight loss challenge number two comparison comparison is the thief of joy i started to notice that i was comparing myself so much to the point where i got depressed and mad at myself because i would see all these people um who were on a weight loss journey around the same time as me but they're losing 60 pounds in two months and i just be like what what am i doing am i doing something wrong like why is it not working for me like that why is the weight not coming off for me like that like what is going on oh my god she's doing that why, why am i not doing that or she's doing that why why does it not work out for me like that when i do that like it just it stole all of my joy it stole my my happiness my peace it stole me really enjoying this process of learning what works for me and learning what doesn't work for me and just enjoying seeing myself have discipline and get things done it took all that from me because i kept looking at other people but as i went through my weight loss journey i matured and i realized that a sometimes hey sometimes quick weight loss is not always the best two people be lying online that's <laughs> that's a big thing i learned people be lying online okay so you don't even know what what these people are saying is true or not so you can't you cannot compare yourself to them and three mama girl this banging body that i have she loves to recomp okay so even though i was stepping on the scale and no i was not losing 60 pounds in two months for me if you've been following my weight loss journey you may have noticed that my weight loss is a little a little it's, it's slower like it i don't lose 15 pounds in two months that's just not my that's not my ministry that's not my story and i have come to terms with it and i'm okay with it because what i realized is that i'm body recomping i'm losing the weight but at the same time i'm gaining muscle so when i'm losing the weight it's my body is shaping so beautifully like the curves are staying in all the right places okay like i eat my protein i lift my weights i do my cardio I drink my water, I get my rest, I make sure to not be stressed. And if I do, I really, really, really try my hardest to really analyze what's going on and how I can eliminate it. And this, all that, all that has really helped me get to this body that I have now. And yes, I still have more pounds to lose, but I've come such a long way to like my mental space, my mental capacity, my just inner peace, inner joy is just so much better because I'm no longer looking at other people and what they got going on, okay? I am, I'm in, I am to a point where I applaud people and their journeys because that's their journey. And I look at my journey and I applaud me because this is my journey. I'm living this life and they're living their life and I'm happy for them and what they got going on and it's beautiful. But I also in that same breath, 
get to look at myself in the mirror and say, hey, you're doing a great job too. It may not look as fast as theirs, but you are doing great things. You are better than what you were yesterday. You are better than what you were last week. Just think if you didn't even start doing anything, you would have still been in that same place that you were when you were completely obese, overweight. So I stopped comparing myself. I, I just stopped comparing myself. I just kept looking at me. I just kept looking at me. And granted, I get it, it's easier said than done. But this took some time. And if you are also going through that struggle, be patient with yourself. Let those people and their, their success, let it be motivation to you to analyze the things that you're doing. Maybe you are doing something off or maybe you need to go get your your sugar levels checked or your hormone levels checked or maybe you need to recalculate your calorie deficit like let what they're doing let that be motivation to you okay don't let it destroy and take your peace and take your joy and yeah that brings me to my next weight loss challenge number three which was time. I kept putting a time restraint on how I wanted to be and when I wanted to be that. Oh, I want to be X amount of pounds by January, da, 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 you know? And I had to realize, baby girl, you are stressing yourself out because when January comes around and you're not at that point, you're depressed again because you felt like you failed, okay? But I, as I continue to grow, okay, as I continue to grow in my relationship with the Lord and on this weight loss journey, what I had to learn on this journey was that I needed to detach from my expectations and my outcome. I had to tell myself was, if I do the things that I know I'm supposed to do, which is eat in the calorie deficit, get my physical activity every single day, drink my water, get my sleep, make sure my stress level is down, work on my A1C, not taking in a lot of sugar because I don't want to get any diabetes or be pre-diabetic. If I do all those things that I know I'm supposed to do, then the natural byproduct will be what I seek. It will be what I've always wanted ever since I started this weight loss journey. I just have to do what I know I'm supposed to do. It may not be in the time that I expect it to be or I want it to be, but sooner or later it will come. That's just natural. That's just what it's going to be. And so I had to really realize as I also got closer to God and started to have an actual relationship with Him and talk to Him, I started to realize that this journey, yeah, it's my journey. But I know he's using me for something bigger than me just getting my, my goals that I want to get completed. Yes, that is a big part of it. But I know that all the struggles, all the frustration, all the sleepless nights, all the, all the days that I, I would go to the gym and I would cry because I wasn't seeing any results, it's bigger than me. Even if it helps one person, I don't even care. I just pray that God continues to use me and let me be a vessel for him because I know that he wants me to show discipline and constantly get it knocked down, but then constantly get it right back up because I know that I'm not the only one that has gone through this problem. This video so far has helped you. Comment down below. Let me know what you've been going through in your weight loss journey what's some of the challenges that you've been going through like let's talk about it love to know what type of challenges you have and like let's talk about it like maybe you have some answers for me on some of the challenges i got and i'm not understanding why it's not not working out right but i just know it's bigger than me and i had and that also helped me realize that knowing that it's bigger than me it, it gave me a sense of peace and direction that, hey, 
this is trial and error but my trial and error is going to help somebody what i also been realizing and noticing especially during the pandemic is that our society's attention span has gotten shorter and shorter as the years gone by and everybody wants that quick fix that let's make money quick let's lose weight quick like let give me any type of drug that's going to make the weight go, come off instead of really putting in that work and letting your body naturally get the weight off in the time that your body needs for it to come off like i promise you you do not want to lose weight quick you don't want to lose weight quick because then you're going to start looking weird you're going to have all this saggy skin everything's not going to be caught up like you want to lose weight in a good amount of time because you want it to be sustainable a mutual fitness influencer of mine my girl fine fit fitness told me one time that whatever you do to lose the weight you're going to have to keep doing to lose the weight so if you're running 13 miles every single day sprinting every single day eating 1200 calories and you lost 70 pounds in four months you're gonna have to continue to keep doing that and once you stop doing that baby the weight's gonna come back you just eat in a 200 to 500 calorie deficit get your walking in you know lifting your weights doing what is good for your body without putting it under stress it's more likely that you're going to be able to sustain that weight loss and this brings me to my last weight loss challenge of this video that i had and that is having too much fun fun and what i mean by that is um i was going through i went through a lot of yo-yo dieting cycles like okay i'll lose 20 pounds restricted everything that i wanted like cake sweets pizza candy mm, brownies i restricted all that lost the 20 pounds i'm looking good feeling good and i'm like you know what i deserve to celebrate let's go out let's go get turned up let's go get some drinks and then after we're gonna get pizza and then we're gonna go get brownies because i haven't had all that for about two months and i want to go have a bender so i will go into a frenzy of binge eating okay eating every single thing in sight and not only did it oh not only did it happen for that one night <laughs> sometimes it will go to a week so if i am constantly eating in a calorie surplus for a week what do you think happened no all of my progress was not lost but um it definitely set me back a little bit so what i realized i had to cut back a little bit on the having fun so often so instead of drinking every single weekend or drinking three days out the week i cut it down to maybe like two times out the month or if i am drinking i'm being more conscious with my drinking then the biggest part was throughout the week you know because you know everybody is a lot stricter and a lot more consistent throughout the weekday um so during that weekday i was in my calorie deficit but i do not i do not suppress what i want you know if i want that pizza you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna find a healthier way to make that pizza if i want those brownies i'm gonna find a healthier way to make those brownies I made a tiktok about this i substituted the oil that goes into the brownie box mix substituted it for greek yogurt so now it's high protein and i took about a thousand calories out of that box of brownies so now if i wanted to eat the whole box of brownies it's not as many calories as if it would have been if i would have a bought it from like a store or something like an actual brownie bakery or something or if i made the box of brownies myself but made it the regular way you know i still like to eat what i like to eat because i realized from being on a weight loss journey that e you know suppressing what i really love to eat was never good because that's how I would binge. So now I have a way healthier 
understanding with food so no longer am i like oh i can't eat up olive garden no i'm gonna go eat up olive garden <laughs> if i really want to if i know it's the smartest thing for me to do i'm gonna go eat at olive garden and i'm gonna make it a one-time thing my hack is i share like i get you know i get my <laughs> my chicken alfredo but instead of eating one whole big thing to myself, me and my best friend are gonna split it or me and my boyfriend are gonna split it. Or I'm going to order it myself and I'm gonna purposely take half of it and put it in a box and save it for tomorrow or save it for two days later. Like I'm just more conscious. I just have more hacks to things to where I don't have to completely cut out food groups or completely not eat what i want to eat you know but yeah those are all of my weight loss challenges and how i overcame them i hope this video really helped you if you're interested in seeing any of my other weight loss journey videos be sure to click right here and i'll see you in the next one